Hello, friends, and welcome to Big T's 3-Minute Market Minder. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the stuff that's going on with Bitcoin. There is a full-scale nerd war going on in Bitcoin right now. Half the community wants Bitcoin to stay the same. The other half of the community want Bitcoin to scale. And so we have this two sides called Bitcoin Core and Bitcoin Unlimited. And you can see we've had some volatility in the price of Bitcoin as these two sides have been battling out. We've been gone from $1,276 a coin down to $924 a coin, and now we're above $1,000 a coin. I will expect this volatility to continue until either both sides come together or they um, uh, do what's known as a hard fork. So a hard fork is where you have two development teams. They want to go in different directions, and so they decide to uh, get behind two different protocols, right? So the, the best parallel I can draw is when a company decides to spin off a division. I wrote an article about this talking about how Abbott Labs spun off its drug division into AbV, and you had basically two different classes of stock. You had uh, for every share of Abbott Labs you owned, you also ended up owning one share of AbV. If Bitcoin forks, you'll see something similar. You'll own one uh, Bitcoin core token and one Bitcoin unlimited token. Now, here's the thing. Whenever these types of splits or forks happen, it gets a little messy. We went through something like this last year with another one of our cryptocurrencies. And so what we suggest that you do is that you take possession of your Bitcoins. And the reason why you want to do that is that um, some exchanges have publicly come out and said, look, we're not going to support, um, uh, uh, if, a, if a new variant of Bitcoin comes out, we're not going to support it. That's crazy. That's like you having an account of Fidelity. You own, Ab, you own Abbott Labs. They say, oh, you know what? We can't get on with our drug division. We're going to split the company in two. And Fidelity says, well, we're not going to let you have your AbV shares. It's nuts, right? Totally nuts. So I did a whole piece on that to show you how to move your coins from Coinbase to Jax. Now, there's some other places that you can move your coins to. So uh, there's also some other places that you can use to that'll take American dollars to buy Bitcoin. So this is the Gemini Exchange. This is run by the Winklevoss twins. And uh, it's Gemini, G-E-M-I-N-I dot com. You can hook this up to your bank account and you can buy Bitcoins. Um, so this is an alternative to using Coinbase. This is just to buy Bitcoins. Another alternative to using Coinbase is Abra. You can download the app. You got to have a smartphone. Super easy to use. I've opened up accounts on both Gemini and Abra. Very, very easy to use. So once you have, once you bought your coins and they're sitting on an exchange, what you're going to want to do is move them to a wallet where you control the keys. And so I've already talked to you about Jax, which we like a lot. Um, but there's some others too. There's, um, uh, if you go to blockchaininfo.com, B L O C K C H A I N dot info, sorry, not blockchaininfo.com, it's blockchain.info, and you click on wallet, and then you can come on here and you can create your own wallet, and it's, it's super easy. And then the last one, this is a mobile wallet, this is Airbits. This is another form of wallet. It's similar to Jax, except it only supports Bitcoin. But again, you control the keys. So, you know, if you're having any trouble with Jax, you can check out um, blockchain.info and you can check out Airbits. Okay. And if you're looking for, if you're looking to buy Bitcoin for the first time, you can check out Gemini and you can check out Abra. Okay. So, what we're trying to do here is is really um, keep you ahead of any potential change that might take place in Bitcoin. Bitcoin end up might not it might not fork, but I'd rather you be ready and be positioned to profit from the fork than be scrambling should Bitcoin fork and we find ourselves on an exchange that will not support both versions of Bitcoin. That would just be a nightmare. So let's avoid the nightmare. 
let's take the necessary steps that we need to do uh, to keep our coins safe. All right, friends, that is enough out of me. I will catch up with you in the next video. And I want you to always remember, let the game come to you.